What's another subtle form of work salvation? Well, I mentioned it when I was talking about the gospel track, but making Jesus not only your saviour, but also your Lord. Uh, look at what it says in Luke uh, 6, verse 46. He says here, And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? So what is Jesus saying here? He's saying here, if you call me Lord, Lord, and don't do the things which I say, then you're not really making me your Lord, are you? Because in order to make Jesus your Lord, you have to do the things which I say. Well, what's another way, what's another way to uh, phrase the things that Jesus says? It's his commandments, aren't they? So people aren't going to say, you know, keep the commandments in order to be saved, but they'll say you have to make Jesus your Lord. But that's just another way of saying, do the things that he says, Another way of saying keep his commandments, it's work salvation. Now, do you have to make Jesus your saviour to be saved? Yes. But do you have to make Jesus your Lord to be saved? No. Because if you did, that's work salvation. You know, and a very uh, popular quote that people will say in order to promote work salvation or promote this lordship salvation as it's known, is they'll say if he's not Lord at all, sorry, if he's not Lord of all, he's not Lord at all. Have you ever heard that? If he's not Lord of all, he's not Lord at all. Well, let's look at a couple of verses in the Bible just in regards to this. Because if he's not Lord at, at, of all, if he's not Lord of all, if he's not Lord of all, then he's not Lord at all. Then he's not the Lord of anyone that still sins. Because when you sin, at that point in time, Jesus Christ is not your Lord. Sin is your Lord at that point, or you are your Lord. Uh, look at what jo uh, Jesus says in John 8, 34. Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. So anybody that commits sin, which is all of us in this room today, and anyone who's ever walked the face of this earth that is, that is a believer, commits sin. When we commit sin, at that point in time, Jesus is not our Lord. So if he's not Lord of all, he's not Lord at all, then he's not the Lord of anyone that still sins. Uh, Romans 6, just another passage on this point. Romans 6, verse 16. Look at what this verse says. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey? whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. So that verse is saying there, if you yield yourself to sin, if you sin, then you are a servant of sin, just as uh, Jesus was saying in John 8 there in that verse we saw before. So making Jesus not only Savior, but also Lord is just another subtle form of work salvation. 